Hi, I'm Miles Barr from the Google Play team. Today I'm going to talk to you about some new tools we've got to help you grow and engage your user base in Google Play. Google Play gives you access to a massive 1 billion potential users. Your challenge as a developer is to acquire the right users, use their feedback to improve your app, and engage them in the long run. I'm going to run through some of the tools Google Play provides to make this easy. First, let's start with a great way to promote your brand, developer pages. We recommend creating a unique page on Google Play to promote all your apps. With your developer page, you're able to upload graphics, explain what your company is, and actually pick one of your apps to feature. This gives you a single destination to promote all your apps on Google Play. One in four of our top partners have already created a developer page. At I.O., we announce a new report that will give you a better understanding of your acquisition channels and where your users are coming from. If you've ever wondered how many users are looking at your store listing, this report will give you an answer. You'll be able to track a cohort of users who visited your store listing page, went, what percentage of them went on to install your app, and eventually went on to become in-app purchases. In addition to a funnel that shows how your users progress through the store, it'll also give you a breakdown by acquisition channel. You'll now know what percentage of your traffic is coming organically through the Play Store versus the other channels. Whether that's AdWords, Google Search, or your UTM tag traffic, or other third parties. With one click, you can see what search keywords people use on Google Search to, before installing your app, providing you the insight you need to optimize your store listing page. You'll be also interested in the track channels breakdown. If you use UTM tags on your Play Store links, you'll be able to segment your users coming from your mobile website or other partners. Now that you know your conversion rate between a store listing visit and an install, Let's see how you can improve it with store listing experiments. Store listing experiments is another feature we launched at Google I.O. Experiments allow you use, to use data and, rather than your intuition to optimize the text and graphics on your store listing page in Google Play. The store listing page is where your users make a decision whether or not to install your app. You can make this page more effective and improve its conversion rate. It can also help you iterate on which parts of your marketing or product resonate most with your users. Developers have been asking us what are the best practices um, for running store listing experiments. So here are some key points we think you should consider. First, start with a hypothesis and test that. Only test one thing at a time. Once you get the results, iterate on that. You'll need to make sure you run your experiment for long enough to achieve statistical significance. And pay attention to the banner at the top of the page, which will show you the results. And remember, small tweaks can be inconclusive. So be bold with your experiments. Here's a great example of a store listing experiment from Rovio for uh, Angry Birds Transformers. In the first experiment, they tried a few different designs. They found the third one improved installs by 7%. Then they decided to iterate. So they tried taking a different tilt on the icon. And they found the first one provided an additional 3% uh, conversion rate improvement. Finally, they validated the experiment by changing the background color. In this case, they found the control one performed the best, so that's the icon they went with. And here's some great feedback from Rovio. Google Play's A-B testing has proved so crucial that we're now planning to soft launch most of our upcoming games on Google Play because we want to optimize and perfect the product page assets. We hope you find this feature useful too, and it'll help you soft launch your apps and games on Google Play. This way, when you do your full launch, you'll be sure to get the great results you're expecting. You've told us that user acquisition is one of your top priorities. To help you with that, we're bringing universal app campaigns right to your fingertips in Google Play Developer Console. This will launch later this year. Universal app campaigns simplify campaign creation and provide a one-stop shop for you to target your app across all the Google properties whether your users are searching on Google Search, within the Play Store, other relevant apps, or watching videos on YouTube. Bruce will tell you more about universal app campaigns later in his talk, Maximize Installs from Every Channel. 
Now that you've got all these users, you'll want to interact with them with ratings and reviews. It's one of the most important parts of the Play Store. Ratings are one of the top ways users will market your app to other people. They also help you understand what users love and hate about your app and how their sentiment changes over time. Replying to a user review is one of the best ways to create meaningful connections with your users and show them that you listen to their feedback to improve your app product. If you're not replying to reviews, you should give it a try. Most users will update their review after a developer has responded to them. We've listened to your feedback and added the features you wanted most. The ratings chart is now available on the reviews page, making it easy to track trends in individual star ratings over time. You can also search for a specific re review and also do free text searches across all of your reviews. I hope you'll enjoy the tools I've discussed and today, and they will help you to promote your brand with developer pages, to understand your acquisition channels, to optimize your store listing, grow your user base, and interact with your users. So you'll have great success with the apps and games you're building on Google Play. Your feedback has helped me and the Play team to understand your challenges so that we can create the features to make your lives easier. Thank you for your feedback, and we look forward to hearing you for even more. Thank you. I'm Miles Barr.